Okay, are there questions over that problem? There's the entire solution. Keep in mind, this is the hard part right here, coming up with the system. Are there any questions before I go on to the next problem? And out there in YouTube world, I'm sorry I didn't video the first part of this problem, but I have two more problems that I can video for you. Questions? Nick, questions? Nick? No, I don't have any questions. Violet? Questions, dear? Violet? Hello? <laughs> she, she said no in the comments. Yeah, you need to like scroll your comments down to the end to see them all. Yeah, I know. I just, I was hoping that Nick Colson yeah. is eating. You don't, yeah. you're not allowed to eat. You're not allowed to eat during class. Okay, well, the I will tell you that these uh, Google Meets, yeah. the thing I don't like about these Google Meets is nobody talks. You're allowed to ask questions and stop me during the Google Meets. Okie dokie. Let's go to the next. Thank you, Elena. Let's go to the next example. And I like it when Are you we don't. Like <laughs> Pardon me? Yeah. Are we like supposed to have our cameras on or something? No, you don't have to, but I will tell you when we take the quiz on Friday, I'm going to use that Go Guardian. There's going to be more than one version of the quiz, and you have to have Go Guardian on, and you have to have uh, your cameras on because I'm going to watch what everybody's doing. So, FYI. I literally look dead. Uh, well, you're not. All right, let's do the next example, shall we? Let me zoom out here. Are we supposed to be writing this down? Uh, what? Why? Why wouldn't you? Yeah, are you supposed to be writing this down? Yeah. Yes. These are like notes that you're in class. Are you just going to, do you have a photographic memory? You're just going to remember all this? Yes, you are supposed to be writing this down. You're a knucklehead, but oh well. So yes. Uh, I wrote the first one down. I just didn't know. If oh yes, you're supposed to. Oh, well good. Thank you. Maybe you're not a knucklehead. I don't think you are. Okay, let's go through this problem. We're going to write a system of equations. Bam. We're going to solve using elimination. We're going to fill in the blanks. Miss Landry. I mean, I just went through this problem. This isn't the problem I want to see. I just went through this problem. Okay. Oh, I got Mrs. Richmond's grandchildren problem. <clears throat> They're participating in a gift wrap sale to raise money for their school. She decided to stock up. <clears throat> so she ordered one roll of reversible paper, and two rolls of metallic paper from Dustin. Dustin must be her grandson. Spending a total of $31. She also ordered four rolls of reversible and two rolls of metallic from Susie. Sweet, sweet Susie. She cost a total of $76. Assuming that the rolls of each type are priced the same, what is the price for each kind of paper? Does anybody have a suggestion as to what the first step would be? Anybody? Can you find the X and Y? Can you're going to find what the X and Y is? Yes, so we're going to define the X's. We're going to let X be, oh, right here, reversible paper. 
Thank you for participating. It's the cost of the reversible. Nick, what was that? And then the Y is going to be the cost of the metallic paper. And so we're going to let Dustin be L1. And I'm going to ask Mr. Miller. Do so, you know what equation L1 would be, Mr. Miller? Um, 1x plus 2y equals 31. Bam. Let's see here. 1 reversible. 2 metallic, 31. I think you're right. I think you said 1x. Good job on this, dude. 1x plus 2y is equal to 31. And we're going to let uh, Emerson, do you know the equation for L2, dear? Um, it's not you know, no. look, I'm gonna help you through it. I have, uh oh, that's freaky. Okay, the equation two is going to be Sue, what she bought from Sue. She ordered four rolls of reversible, two rolls of metallic. From Sue, which cost $76. Now I'll give equation two a try, Emerson, please. Four rolls of irreversible and two rolls of metallic. You want to give it a try, honey? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. You're right. Plus she's muted. Plus two Y. Turning mic. Plus two Y equals seventy six. There you go. Were you trying to say something and you just couldn't? Yeah, I was. It was just muted. Oh, well, that's uh, silly. All right, so now, can somebody, we'll go to Mr. Yancey. Mr. Yancey, what are you going to do to one of the equations to rewrite them so that we can add them together? Do you know, sir? What do you think? Uh, uh, A lot of options. Uh, you get to choose. You don't know. <laughs> uh... When you multiply, no. You're right. Yes. I mean, you multiply one of them. I think the top one, right? By what? By. Mm. Give it a wild guess. There's two good numbers that you could use. It's not going to matter. Four? You could. Let's do this. Let's multiply the top one by negative four. Negative four? Yeah. Okay, negative. so let's do that. You, there's other ways to skin this rabbit, to skin this cap. We're going to go, we're going to take Yancey's advice and go negative four times equation one. So if I do negative four times equation one, I'm going to have negative four X, negative times positive is negative eight Y, and negative four times 31 is going to be negative 124. Okay, four times one is four. 4 times 3 is 12. I'm just going to rewrite yep. equation 2. 4x plus 2y is equal to 76. Now when I add them together, look what happens. I add them together, the x's are eliminated, and I get negative 6y is equal to negative 124 plus 76, which 
equals negative 48. And that says y is equal to positive 8. So now I'm going to put y equals 8. Let's check the arithmetic. You can take your calculator and see what negative 124, negative 124 plus 76. Take your calculator. Bam, that's negative 48. Hello. Negative 8y plus 6 is negative 6y. 48 divided by 6 is 8. Bam. Now I'm going to put this guy, y equals 8, in. I'm going to put it in, let's see here. I'm going to put it in L, L1. And L1 was this guy right here. X plus 2 times 8 is equal to 31. That says X is equal to 31 minus 16. 31 minus 16 is X is 15. So what is 15? 15 is the cost of reversible paper and 8 is the cost of metallic paper. Let me zoom out on this and you can take a good picture. And then my question is, fire page, could you repeat that problem on a quiz? Quiz? Yep. And Mr. Yancey chose negative four. You could have multiplied the top one by negative one, and then you would have had less numbers, but that's okay. Everything would have, you're always going to only going to have one solution, which is 15, eight, 15 for reversible, eight for the metallic. Are you ready for one more example? Here we go. Questions? Questions? Are you alive? We're ready. You ready? How come I can't see everybody? I wonder why. Oh. oh well. All right. This is kind of a tough one. No, nah, not really. I'm gonna zoom out here. Okay, here you go. Two fifth grade classes are attending an amusement park field trip. Their teachers purchased the tickets for the class and the parent chaperones. Miss Lee purchased 25 child tickets and five adult tickets. Cost that girl $542. Mr. Tyler purchased 17 child tickets, 21 adults. Adult tickets paying a total of $734 worth of ticket price. Okay, so let's read this question. We have to learn how to critically read. Amusement park, the teachers purchase tickets for the class and for parents. This is Lee purchased 27 kids, five adults. She spent this much money. Mr. Tyler purchased 17 kids, 21 adults, with that much money. Mr. Gacky, help me define the variables, sir. Are you with us? Yeah. Go, help me define uh, the variables. Yeah. What do you want X to be? X to be the child tickets, and Y to be the adult tickets. That would be a good choice, kind sir. And then I, what I need to do is I need to come up with two equations. In L1, 
What the heck? An L1 and an L2. I'm going to let L1 be Mrs. Lee. And we're going to let L2 be Mr. Tyler. Ayana, do you know an equation for L1? Yeah. Uh, it would be 27x plus 5y equals 542. Bingo. Absolutely correct. Mr. Johnson, I think you're with us. Can you give me an equation for L2, sir? Uh, yeah, I can. So, uh, 17x plus 21y equals 734. There you go. And I'm going to flat tell you, I've worked this problem out, and the numbers are going to get nasty. And I don't think we've seen an a system like this. So there isn't one number that I can multiply L2 by or one number that I can multiply L2 by. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to flat tell you this. I'm going to take L1 and I'm going to multiply it by negative 21. I'm going to need my calculator for this too. And I'm going to take L2 and I'm going to multiply it by 5. See, I'm using these numbers right here, but I want one to be negative, one to be positive. So I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to do this first multiplication here. And I need 21 times 27. I have my calculator out. 21 times 27 is negative 567. Twenty one times five is negative one oh five. Oh, here's a big number twenty one times five four two. It's going to be negative one one three eight two. You have a calculator. You will have a calculator if you encounter a system this with big numbers. That's okay. I'm going to multiply this guy by 5. 5 times 17 with my calculator. Bam, 85. 5 times, oh, this should be a Y here. 105Y, and that's why I chose those numbers, because now we know these are going to cancel, eliminate. 5 times 734. Is 3,670. Now I'm going to add those rascals together. Again, using my calculator. Negative 567 plus 85. I hope I don't make a mistake. I think that's right. Oh, now I'm going to have to be, whoops, whoops. Now I need to be really careful on this guy right here. So it's going to be a negative 11, 382, plus 3670, bam. And this is going to be negative 7712. I'm going to divide both sides by this guy. It's going to be a positive number. Let's see if I come up with a nice even number. A nice whole number, I should say. I have this in my calculator. I'm going to divide that by 482. Bam. X is equal to 16. Oh, good deal. That is actually the answer. Big numbers, but what do I do now? I'm going to put X equals 16. I'm going to put it in L1. I'm going to have to scroll up here and look at L1. 27x plus 5y. 27x plus 5y is equal to, what did it equal? 542. 
and 5y is equal to 542 minus this product, 27 times 16, which is 4542. Let me get this. Wait, I'm sorry. This is going to be recorded. 542 minus 432 is 110. 5y is equal to 110. Divide that rascal by 5. And y is 22. And that makes sense. So the adults cost $22, the kids cost 16. 16, 22, let's zoom out so you can take a picture of this. It will be on video. Okay, the only reason this problem was hard because the numbers got big. You all will be able to use a calculator. And I'm not saying there is going to be a problem this hard, but this came off of the IXL standard that you're going to be asked to do. Did anybody look at the word problem standard from IXL yet? That's a yes or no. Emerson did. Good for Emerson. <laughs> I, I, I'm like really seriously good for anybody else. Because I'm telling you what, the other one, the other word problems, this is the harder word problem from the IXL. This one's not assigned. The other one ugh, is kind of difficult. So you're going to have to watch that video. So, so far you have three videos. Elimination one, elimination two, word problem one, and this will I will turn into a video as well. And actually I'm going to start 